Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here now for a bit of a play. Um, if you joined me a few videos back, we made these lovely master boards um, with our book pages and we made the faux envelope flaps. And these are my remaining pieces because actually we did them in a mass make and I actually was really rubbish and only made three. Um, so these are my remaining pieces, which I thought we could come along and just make some tags or journaling cards from them. Um, with some little fussy cut pieces, you know, on them as well. So all I'm going to do is kind of cut them down and then back them onto something. So I think what I'm going to do is just back them onto something finish. I was going to back them onto coffee dyed cardstock, but to be honest, I don't think they really need anything as thick as that. I think probably, you know, some book page fly sheet or something would do because they obviously, they are already as thick as, you know, the book page, the layer of paper, the glue, and now they're going to have the back piece. So I think they might be kind of stiff as a board if I actually put them onto the, you know, to some cardstock as well. So if we take, for instance, this one first, I'm going to cut it down about here because I want to hopefully get two items out of this. So if I made this much wider, I wouldn't really kind of be able to do that. So, I'm going to just glue this onto here. Oops, sorry, my glue was then just stuck onto something. So I'm just going to glue this down onto the fly sheet. We we'll just go around there like that. Not really too worried, but just, you know, a good kind of covering. And then obviously we'll trim it down and hopefully get a bit more sort of closer to the edges once we trim it down. So just glue that down there okay and use my glue spreader now obviously I have to be a bit careful with the glue spreader because this is a collage piece so I don't want to kind of disrupt the collage but I mean hopefully the collage is sufficiently glued down that it's not going to do that too much but just spread that out like that okay and we can cut that one down so I'm going to just cut in slightly, you know, like a millimetre or so in. So is that anywhere where I maybe did miss the glue, it's hopefully now on the glue, if you see what I mean. So just trim that down like that. And then I'm just going to trim down the bottom as well. For exactly the same reason, you know, it just kind of hopefully gets you a bit closer to where that line of glue was. So that's that piece um, and I will just now take this one and just, you know, might as well glue this down while we're at, you know, while we're at it. So I'll just glue that here. Okie dokie. I've opened the window up here because it's actually quite warm so I do apologise if there's a lot of traffic noise. It's always a bit difficult because, um, you know, we do live on quite a busy road, so. And of course, it could be as quiet as anything for the whole time. And then the second that you press record, of course, all the lorries go past and, you know, the loud motorbikes and everything else that could possibly make a huge noise. That's going to be the time that they choose to go past. So, again, I'm just going to kind of try and cut in just a fraction so that if I've missed anywhere with the glue, it's just going to hopefully, you know, go in slightly and hopefully get a bit closer to where that glue is. Okay. Right. So that's those two. Shall I do all of them at the same time and then we're not going to be mucking about? So again, going to kind of take this down here like that. And this one, just want to kind of see how it looks each of the sides. You know, which one would I prefer to be the skinny tag? Oh, it's a tough one, this one. I think probably there, so yeah, kind of do it there. Okay, so I'm just going to glue those down onto the paper as well, and then we've, you know, we've kind of mass made or done them in a mass made style in that you know we've done all the same stages at the same time so just go in with that one okay so I hope everyone's doing well 
hope you're doing some crafting, having a nice time. I wonder what you're working on. Are you making a junk journal at the moment? Are you doing ephemera? Are you doing kind of just, you know, ready-made supplies? Or are you working for a specific journal? I'd love to hear in the comments below what you're working on. It's always such fun to hear what people are working on. And as well how people work, because, um, you know, I know that definitely... I mean, I used to always just make the ephemera as I went. I, you know, I was doing a journal, therefore I would make the ephemera there and then. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more efficient and more bulk make things. So if they can possibly be, you know, mass made, then I'm trying my hardest to kind of do that. Because, of course, making as you go, it just makes every journal take such a long time. So, um yeah i am trying my hardest to actually kind of get bulk bulk making ephemera a bit more um you know because i think that's much more efficient and um you know better use of time really and also it makes the um journal making process a little bit um easier and less overwhelming because i know that when i first made a junk journal you know, I know I've talked about this before, but my first couple of junk journals that I made, I just felt so, well, not even couple, my first lots, lots of junk journals that I made, they felt so overwhelming. It was kind of never ending, you know, I just thought, oh my gosh, how much more have I got to make to fill this journal? And, um, you know, I still feel like that now sometimes, to be honest, you know, when I'm kind of finished the journal and somebody in a comment summed it up the other day and just summed up how I feel. You know, she said that, you know, once she's kind of technically finished a journal, she's mentally finished with that. And um, so to then have to then make ephemera to put in it, it's so disheartening. And you think, oh, gosh. And, you know, the ephemera, you need so much to actually fill a journal. So to have some ready-made ephemera is a brilliant. You know, it's so handy to just be able to have it on hand and grab it in. Um, you know, because, yeah, it definitely cuts down on both the time and that filming of, uh, feeling of kind of complete, oh my gosh, how much more have I got to make, you know. So, um, yeah, definitely I'm trying to be a bit better about that. I mean, of course my problem is I'm always, you know, <laughs> steering towards the matchy-matchy, which of course then is a problem because the chances are the ready-made stuff isn't going to go. But... At least if I have one, you know, even if it's just one or two things ready made, that's still going to be a bit of a time save saver, you know. And sometimes you can actually adapt things. So if they're made, even if they're decorated, you know, the chances are you could just add one or two things that would change the look and then they would go with what you're actually making. So, you know, very much, yeah, very much kind of I think it's having you know, or worth having a lot of kind of ready-made ephemera in your, in your stash. Right, and then we just trim this on. And obviously you can see I've now run out of the fly sheet for that final piece, so I'm sort of scouring on my desk as we're cutting, seeing what I've got that I can just pull in rather than have to to stop the camera and go and get another piece of paper. Okay, so that's those all trimmed out, ready to go. And then have I got one more piece? Oh, I don't think I have. That's so annoying. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I could just back it onto card. It is going to be quite thick, you know, like really thick. But, um, well, does that matter? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. It will just be a very thick, very thick tag. I'm going to glue that onto the underside, actually. Oops. Okay. Yeah, it's very warm up here today. I know I always say this, but yeah, I'm filming ahead. So if you're living in the UK and the weather is hideous, Honestly, I'm not like, you know, living on a tropical island, unfortunately, or anything like that. I am here in the UK, but I filmed ahead. So at the point of filming this, the weather was nice. 
but yeah I fully understand it may well not be by now so um, yeah okay let's just trim that down and there and across the top like that and then just down at the side okay good right we've made a bit of progress so that's fine can put that out of the way so for me i feel a little bit like i've got journaling cards and i've got tags um because these feel a little bit journaling cardy just purely because the shapes and these feel a bit more like tags so i'm going to kind of i think do them in that style uh so i think the first thing that i maybe would like to do is around the corners of my you know what's going to be my journaling cards so let's just do that oops get my corner rounder i don't know whether i necessarily want to round the corners on every piece actually i might might decide to just do these let's have a look Oh, yeah, I think I will, actually. I was thinking maybe I would leave them square, but no, I'm going to going to round all the corners. Oops, let me just empty this out, because it seems to be spilling out everywhere. Hold on. Okay. I've had a couple of ladies ask where I got my corner punch from. Um, I've had mine for years, but I got it from eBay. Um, just search corner punch. It was super cheap and as I said I mean I've had it for years so I mean yeah it's really you know really provided good value for money um, I don't know how long I've had it but yeah many years oh I don't know who that is I think that's my son home from work he must he must have got home a little bit early he's sounding thrilled to be home it's only early in the afternoon, so they must have finished their job a little bit early, which is great for him. But he's, yeah, <laughs> just, just obviously got in and feeling pleased with himself, so. Okay, right. There we go. So all my corners are rounded now. Bin those bits. And for my tags, I'm going to just cut off all of the corner corner edges so we just then take that across as a template and then the same with this one so I don't always do this um, but I do definitely tend to do this if they're big tags definitely um, but I mean if they're smallish I often don't bother with this you know taking this corner across but to be fair I mean definitely if you want them very accurate well they're not very accurate to be fair but you know more accurate than this is a really great way to do it so that's my little uh, tags there and that's my journaling card so let's start finding some bits and pieces to put on these and you know finish them off and then there's something else that's now gone and off of my desk so I've got lots of my fussy cut um uh, glue bit favorite pieces here and I'm just thinking some of these look really great on these Look at those pears on there how cute do they look yeah i really like how those look got a little stamped label which again i had decoupaged a napkin on there wish i hadn't really because um i don't really like like that napkin on there um but you know i will eventually use it i'll just keep pulling it in until i do eventually decide to use it I'd have that little postage stamp there. That looks kind of cute, doesn't it? What else could we have on there? Just have a little bit of a rummage through my flowers and things. See if I've got any flowers that might be good. Let's have a look. Mm. No, not that one. Definitely not that one. Uh, Oh, I don't know now. I mean, this is why I always say, you know, no matter how much stuff you've got, 
you just never have quite the right thing, do you? You know, and you can have a ton of stuff in your stash and your supplies, but still, the chances are you haven't got quite the one thing that you do actually want to have, um, which is just so irritating. And I just think, oh gosh, you really, you know, can't have any more stuff than I've physically got, but to still not have the right stuff is just unbelievable. Okay, right, I'm going to bring in my ephemera box. Oops, so sorry about that noise. It was obviously stuff kind of dropping down. Ah, also got those strawberries. Or maybe those fell out on. Oh, she's lovely on there, isn't she? Yeah, I'm just, I'm working my way across all three. So I haven't particularly got a you know, methodical order here, but I might just pull those out from the tag. Um, yeah, I haven't got any sort of methodical order or anything going on here. I'm just kind of pulling things out as I spot things in the box. So, you know, they may be useful for one of these pieces, but in no particular order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just grabbing anything at all that looks even you know vaguely or remotely like it might be useful so let's just have a bit of a look okay got a little bit of a book plate what else have i got i've got that okay a little kind of key hole piece uh, Got this. Oh gosh, I'm just literally, you know, anything that even, yeah, looks vaguely like it might be suitable. I'm just getting it out. So, um, right. Okay. Let's just, let's just stop there. She says as she pulls in even more stuff, even more stuff, like as if I need more stuff. Oops. I've got a postage stamp there, made its way into my ephemera box. So I'm going to take that out because I don't want that there. Right, let me just put this straight into the tin, or not the tin, sorry, the glass, where I've got those colour sorted for another day. Well, not another day, but, you know, colour sorted anyway. Let's have a look. So I pulled out this green label because I thought, well, that might look quite good on here with the pits because, of course, it's green. Um, it may be that it's too big and this one may be too small. Isn't that just always the way? Right, so I'm going to just trim this down. Maybe just have that there. Uh, I wish I had more of these labels printed because this is a great label colour wise. It is just a little bit too big. Let me just have another rummage through here because I may just happen to have this in a smaller size somewhere. So just going to have another quick look. Honestly, this box is now overflowing. It started out so brilliant. And now it's overflowing. But to be fair, because a couple of people have said to me, you know about my stamps and I've put all my stamps, my favourite stamps to have nearby. Um, and I know that a couple of people have sort of said, you know, oh, are they going to get on your nerves being, you know, all kind of in one pile like that, you know, and having to rummage through. I don't know about you guys, but I actually really like working that way because it's how I then stumble across things that maybe I wouldn't necessarily have picked. You know, and often that's how you know, we kind of mix things up, isn't it? You know, whereas if it's all really ordered, I have to think in my mind first and think, oh, what stamp am I looking for? Or, you know, what piece of ephemera am I looking for? And go looking for that particular thing. And then if my things were, <laughs> if my things were really organised, for instance, then what's going to happen is I'm never going to actually see anything other than the piece I'm looking for, if you see what I mean. So for me personally, and I'm not saying that this works for everybody, of course, I'm not, not trying to say that. But for me personally, I like this way of working 
because I think it makes me pull out things that I definitely wouldn't have thought of otherwise, which is a fun way, you know, to work, I think. Right, so like this, it's not the label I was looking for, but it's going to work just as well colour-wise. So I can just pop that in there like that. Okay, and then the pears and then the postage stamp. And I'm going to put this up here. I also found a little green piece there. Don't know whether I need that really. Well, it was quite nice actually. Or this. Right, let's stick these down first. Then again, I'm committed. I know I always say that, but it just, I find it really helpful, you know, to just have something stuck down because it's a starting point. Whereas if I don't have a starting point, you know, I'm just kind of wondering and wondering for ages thinking, oh, what shall I do? Shall I have that there? Shall I, you know, shall I not? So it's good to have a starting place, I think. Okay, that's that and that's that. And yeah, I like this black of this stamped stamp. So, you know, it's not a postage stamp, it's a stamped image of a postage stamp, but I love the way it's kind of contrasting in that black. It stands out really nicely, I think. So, press that down. Okay, do I like those there? Actually, I think maybe I just need the green one. Let's just go for the green one. Okay, so that's that. Now my pears, because I'm going to probably ink all of this up anyway, so I'm wondering do I want to ink them up before I put them on? I mean to be honest I might not actually ink this up because I love the white of the doily pieces that are in there. Yeah, I might actually not not ink these because I think they look really pretty as they are. Let's just go for that. Glue those pears down. Okay. Oops. Wrap up that excess glue that was just kind of coming out the side there. Okay, right. Okay, so I love how that looks. Really, really, really pretty. So I'm just going to trim that down at the side where I obviously had that label kind of overhanging just slightly. Okay, so that's then done. So one down. I'm going to pop that under my leg because I'm just worried about the postage stamp sticking because it was on very thick cord. So just by kind of having it under my leg, it's going to obviously help it stick better. Right, let's go for this one next because I just <laughs> happened to spot this lady obviously in my ephemera box and thought, oh, she's perfect from there. And doesn't she look great on here? She just looks gorgeous, doesn't she? So, yeah. Might put that there. Okie dokie. I will probably ink this one up because... Um, you know, she's very vintage, so I think it would look good inked up. I'm going to have her there. Now I'm just wondering whether I want one of my little number number tabs on there. Again, I would have quite liked a black one. I don't have any black ones printed off. I know I've been saying for absolutely ages, oh, I must print some more number tabs. Still haven't, still haven't. Well, actually, I think I did print some more, but now I don't remember where they are. They might be in my bag from where I've been to my mum's house, I'm not sure. Not sure, can't quite remember. That's just not right. Um, yeah, the black is the one. The black is the one that I need, and of course that's the one I haven't got. So, let's just have a look here, I've got my die cut numbers so we could have kind of like one of those somewhere I 
feel like it's not too bad if I put it over the flower. I'm not over keen on it if I have things showing. Do you see what I mean? Where it's got two different colours showing. It looks a little bit like it's just plonked there. If it's over the flower, so all of it's on the one colour, it looks then a little bit better, doesn't it? So, yeah, I don't mind that. Um, I also had this... Uh, oh, that's really nice there, isn't it? Yeah, that is really nice there. Let's have that. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down here like that. Again, just dab off the excess glue like that and then oops, just glue her down. It's so weird because I'm sure I said this before, when I bought these people, you know, the Tim Holtz um, paper dolls, I'd had them for absolutely ages and you know didn't use them I couldn't really see how I was going to use them I just kept thinking oh they're a bit weird you know I can't really picture how I'm going to use them well I have to say I completely retract <laughs> retract all of that because they're actually amazing and they look fantastic on most things you know most places that you put them they just work so yeah I've gone from kind of dreading thinking oh how would I use those to actually they're just really great to use and yeah really really nice so again I'm just going to put her under my leg because again she's very thick so let's hope I don't get it stuck to the other one no I've pulled the other one out now so I just wanted to make sure that stamp was stuck on there so I'm just going to put that to one side let's pull this one in now so again I haven't really got any idea what we're going to do with this but have a look wondering whether we could have those lovely strawberries on there because they look kind of nice don't they yeah they're quite nice now wonder if we could have one of our black words I know I know I wanted the black numbers just now but perhaps we could have a oh, black word what about beautiful or well, creativity we could have actually let's let's do that okay so that's quite nice and then just I'm going to cut the legs and things off this ladybird again. Oops. Come on. Oops. He obviously doesn't want to have his legs cut off, but hey, they're going. They're going. They're being cut off. Oh, I'm not sure he quite goes there. He's beautiful against there. I'm not sure for me whether I'm liking this red flower if I'm truthful. It feels a little bit bright and out of place. Um, yeah, I think I'm kind of preferring it with the flower gone, strangely enough. Don't know why, but yeah, for me it just wasn't quite, you know, quite working. And I think maybe I'm preferring it more like this. Yeah, I think I prefer it like that. So I'm going to, again, just glue this one down. Okay, so like that, in fact, I might just take that right to the edge. And then I'm just going to glue these strawberries down. Oh, aren't strawberries just delicious? Lovely, aren't they? I must say I'm not so keen on the really big strawberries. Um, well, actually, maybe, maybe I don't mind them. I don't know. My daughter loves strawberries. Yeah, she really loves them. Well, to be fair, we all probably quite like them. They are very delicious, aren't they? But yeah, I'm not so keen on, you know, when you get the tiny ones with all those lots and lots and lots of pips. Sometimes you get those, don't you? I mean, not that the pips are 
you know, tasteable or anything like that. But yeah, I'm just not so keen on those. Right, just wondering whether I need it that side to kind of balance it out or whether it can go that side. Let's just check. Right, let's just, again, just commit to that label. Yeah, not that you can taste the pips or anything, but those ones that are quite small with tons of pips, I mean, I assume that they're not very ripe because they're often the ones that are slightly green as well, aren't they? Um, you know, slightly greeny yellow. So I'm assuming, you know, more that color that's at the end of that strawberry. They're more like that. So I'm assuming that they're maybe not quite so ripe. So, yeah. Well, to be honest, so long as they're, you know, they're red and they're, um, you know, not too pippy, they're, you know, they're pretty nice, aren't they? Right, do I want that or do I want creativity? I think I prefer it on the strawberries, actually. Let's just pop that there. Okay. And just going to stick the ladybird down like that. Okay. Gorgeous. Right. Again, let me just trim off the, the label that's hanging out there. And what I'm thinking definitely with this one, I'm going to stitch around this, I think, with some black thread. And the black thread will just bring in that creativity, the word there. So I think that will look really good finishing it off like that. So now we've just got the tags, obviously. So let's bring those in. And just pop that little bit of paper down there that was kind of flapping around. It wasn't really flapping, but you know what I mean. So again, I quite like that little couple on there. But do you see what I mean about these paper dolls? Although I kind of resisted using them for the longest time because I thought, well, they're just weird. They look really good, don't they? On every tag, they're, they're good. So yeah, I think I will stick with this one, but they are nice on every single tag. So again, be good to be able to just use the things that I've actually got right here now that I've actually pulled out rather than go rummaging for more stuff. So I'm going to have that there. I'm wondering if I could just add, when they're skinny tags like this especially, I love being able to put um, another tag hanging from it. I don't know why, but for some reason the skinny tags especially, they seem to call for that. So, um, oh gosh, look at my awful cutting. I just said, didn't I? Oh, I don't always worry about taking the corners from one side to the other, especially on a tiny one. Perhaps I should worry. Perhaps I should start worrying about doing that because that was disastrous, I must say. <laughs> okay, so I've got that. Now I wonder if I've got any more of the similar doily paper. No, I just thought if I had any more of the similar paper printed off, in my scraps then it would tie it in really nicely to the to the tag but of course I don't appear to have any which is annoying to say the least um, just check okay well I don't have any of that but I've got this music sheet music so which is a printable, but I know it sounds really strange. It for some reason was kind of calling me rather than having it too bright. I thought actually it might look quite good with just, you know, duller, duller kind of piece. So perhaps I need to, hmm, perhaps I need to tear that down. I know I've done this loads of times, but I just really like them like this. Um, you know, when they're these skinny tags, I really, oh, I, oh my gosh, I'm dropping this all over. 
Oops, it's now covered in glue on the other side. Oh well. Right. Um, I quite like them when they're the skinny tags with just like a little sort of something through the middle. Oh, let me try and straighten that three out. Okay. I think they look really nice like that. So let's just pop that on there. Like that and straight through like that. And then we'll just, again, dab that glue off. And I'll just trim that down. Oops. Oh my gosh, dropping it everywhere. Oh, I'm so sorry, now the phone's ringing. Hold on, sorry about that. Um, right, so yeah, I'm going to have the people here. I mean, actually, they'd even fit on, on there to be fair. Hmm. Hmm, now I'm not sure. Well, I did like them on here first, so let's put them on here. Okay. There we go. Just pop them down. That one. Okay, dab that off. And then I think on the, you know, this um, small tag, because I'm going to have this hanging, I think I'll just put one of these postage stamp, stamped postage stamps. Because again, then that brings the black in, which is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Do we want to have this anywhere? Mm, could have it on the back actually, which again then just kind of ties the the two items together, which I always think is quite nice. So let me just ink that little tiny bit because that was just you know very bright white. So just again ink that down. Uh, sorry, not ink it. Glue it. Glue it down like that. Okay, cut that down. And definitely going to ink these ones. So yeah, they're definitely going to be inked. I'm just going to now pop those under my leg. Honestly, I hope these tags aren't all just gluing together because that would just be a disaster, won't it? But <laughs> some stranger things have happened. You never know what you're going to get, do you, with, uh, <laughs> with crafting. Right, just don't want him, and actually he needs a little bit more cutting off anyway. Um, sorry about that, that's my son, He's he's got hay fever and allergies, so he's, um, yeah, just coughing and spluttering away. He's absolutely fine, but yeah, he does suffer from, he does suffer from hay fever a bit, and, you know, various allergies, so. Right, wondering whether we could have this advert on here. So I'm just going to put this down and try and make it sort of smaller because obviously it's not going to fit on this tag otherwise. It still might not fit to be fair, but I just thought colour wise these were quite good. Oh no, look, it's massive. It's taken up the whole the whole size of the tag, unfortunately. So that's a bit of a shame. Um Okay, let me have another look through what we've got here. Oops, I've got one of my photos printed tiny. So we could have him on there or on there. There, I think. Again, he's a little bit too big, which is a bit of a shame. I've got some other photos here, which again, you know, they just happen to be on my desk from something else I had been doing. So we could have those. Oh, he's quite good on there, isn't he? Yeah, let's go for that. So, oops. Just wondering whether I can use that number seven. No, I don't like that. Don't like that there. I mean, sometimes, you know, it's all very well and good trying to just use what's on your desk, but, you know, sometimes you just can't make it work, can you? That was just one of those things that just, yeah, it wasn't meant to be on there. 
Uh, oh, just looking through my numbers, seeing seeing whether I've got any that would be ideal. I can't really can't really see any. Okay, let's have another look through these bits that I've got here. I've got the rest of this, which obviously we'd use this on something else. Well, that's quite nice, to be honest. So I'm going to, I think, just chop that down. Okay. Like that, and him there. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll just... Go around there with some glue. Okay, press him down. Again, just dab him off in case there's any excess glue just, you know, seeping out anywhere. And again, I'm thinking I might go around this tag with some black stitching. Um, I think it would look quite striking. And then for the tab, I might kind of have something something black I think would look quite good with him so put him to one side and then final one final one let's see what we're going to do with this one so I'm going to get rid of this because I'm not going to use that little scrap for anything okay no stop keep pulling that soldier in so I've got these photographs now so I'm just wondering whether I could use one of these maybe her she would be quite pretty on there, wouldn't she? Unfortunately, she's oval shaped, so. Yep, ovals and circles, my worst shapes to cut out. Oh gosh. I, they're just so unforgiving. You know, if you make a mistake on an oval or a circle, it's really no, no coming back from that. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. Yay. <laughs> Don't know how she looks, but oh, she'll she'll do. She looks okay. So I'm just going to glue that little piece down that's sort of coming up there. That's just where we've cut obviously the collage pieces out. Um, you know, then they can obviously lift a little bit when they've not been hundred percent glued you know, around on the collage page. So, maybe we'll have a little number on here. Whoops. Yeah, let's have that there. Okay. And then we're going to stick her down wonder if we could have her on some lace or something actually obviously you know we didn't want the men on lace or the man on lace but she I think would just work really nicely with a bit of lace wouldn't she so do we want the black lace or do we want this kind of coffee coffee dyed lace I think the black is just it's so striking isn't it you know um it just really kind of brings something else to the page doesn't it you know really striking impactful thing to the page so right let me just get my black lace out okay so I've got oh this this might be a bit filled in yep okay no nope, not that lace okay have I got any more within striking distance no I can't see any hold on right let me just have a look in my little bag beside me and see whether I've got any in there yep I have thank goodness it was all kind of going going okay and then suddenly it wasn't so right so yeah we can have her kind of on here so I'll just cut that down yeah and I might even keep that curly edge on there oh maybe I won't no I'm not going to 
which is a shame but I can cut around that and then I can use that on something else so we just you know cut that off and I'm not going to bin it I will keep it to use on something else I mean as if I need to keep it I don't really need to keep it because my gosh I should actually get rid of it because then I would have one less thing lingering about but you know us crafters we're not like that are we we're going to obviously keep it so yeah of course I'm going to keep it there we go so I'm going to have her on there again might just ink her up a little bit before I stick her down and just going to stick down the fabric with the fabri tack well it's not really fabric but you know the lace with the fabri tack oops might need to just unplug that i've got my brilliant new fabri tacks and my squeezy bottles from the lovely marianne um they're ready to go but obviously I'm just trying to use this up first. So yeah, I'm going to be going to be switching to those soon, which hopefully will be much better to squeeze because these are really hard on your wrists, aren't they? My wrists have been really hurting late, lately and I think it's, um, you know, from squeezing these bottles, to be honest, they're very, very hard on your wrists. So yeah, looking forward to using those Easy squeeze, easy squeezy bottles. Okay, put her down just there. Okay, so she looks really nice, doesn't she? And actually, I think we've got beautiful, I could have that there. Let's just cut that out. Okay. we want that down there or shall we have that like on her more I think on her yeah I like like them on on the people just going to hot glue that down because then it's just going to be you know holding that lace down and kind of glued all in one fell swoop so okay there we go Gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's have a look and recap on the six pieces that we have done today. So let's just clear this stuff out the way. Let me move it all to one side so it's a bit less cluttered. We have done three journaling cards like that and we've done obviously the three tags now as I say I'm going to I think stitch around these um I think all of them I'm not sure whether I'm going to do the black stitching or the white stitching I definitely I'm thinking black for like this one this one I think this one and I think this one yeah maybe I will go for black with all of them to be honest because it's going to add a really striking kind of look to it um I didn't stitch this one um, I didn't really think that it needed the stitching to be honest I think it looks you know super cute just as it is so I didn't stitch that one but I did stitch I think all of the others um, so I'm going to just kind of finish them off now so these two here which I've obviously inked up I'm going to finish them off with punching my hole so I'll just do a hole in here and a hole in here and I'm going to ink these ones up, these two. So I'm going to ink some and not ink some, um, just depending on sort of, you know, whether I think that they kind of um, call for inking, I guess. So I'm just going to then put my little hole reinforcers in. And again, I mean, you don't really have to do that. I just think they look really, really cute and kind of finish the tag off by having the holes, you know, the hole reinforcers. So just then pop those down like that okay and then I'm just going to ink them up a little bit Oops. 
Now, really, I should try and be using up some of my ribbons because, um, you know, I've recently kind of done my Tidy Friday ribbons. First stab, I do have other ribbons, but that was just the first bash. I'm not sure what that mark is on there, but never mind. Kind of something orange on there. Must be a bit of kind of ink from something. Um, yeah, I should really kind of try and use my ribbons. So I'm going to, I think, do that. So firstly, I've got this ribbon here. Now, the only thing is, well, actually, because I was going to attach this just with a bulb pin hanging. But to be honest, if I thread that through. So this was not um, some of the ribbon in my Tidy Friday. This was just kind of a scrap that was left over from, from something else. Um, but obviously, I thought the black ribbon would look really good on this tag. Oh my gosh. Come on, come through. Oh, come on. Oh, Tying bows just sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So, okay. Like that. Okay, and then I really would ideally like my legs poking into the tag instead of like right above it. Which is just weird, isn't it? So, oh my gosh, look. I wonder if I can thread that through there. And then it might just sit happily. Who knows? Might, it might not. Oh no. Doesn't want to sit happily however it is, does it? So, come on. Okay, well that's not too bad. And then what I can do is just dab like a little bit of hot glue just in there. I don't know whether actually any even came out to be honest. But... Oh no, because I've switched my hot glue off. Ugh. Because I thought I wouldn't have time to do the stitching. So I'd actually switched it off, but then, then when I looked it wasn't quite as late as I thought. So yeah, hence I obviously am back now. So we just put just a little dot of the fabric tack there, which will hopefully just keep that, you know, knot or that ribbon, sorry, the bow in place like that. And then what we can do is just take our little extra tag there and now perhaps attach it with a bulb pin. So again, let me just grab a bulb pin from my little centre of my ephemera organiser thing that I've got here beside me so oops come out right so I'm going to go through the bow oops like that and then down I'm just try and hook that on like that oh come on oh my gosh this is so fiddly I can't really see. I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera. I can't really see. Okay, right. So that's that tag, and you've got your hangy, hangy little tag there with it. So I think that's quite sweet. So that's that one. Then we're going to just ink up this journaling card. And obviously, I mean, I don't put um, tabs on my journaling cards. I mean, you know, perhaps some people do, I don't know. And I never say never, because I probably have done once or twice in the past. Um, and I probably will do again. But yeah, I'm not going to, I think, put tabs on, on these. Although, wow, even in the same video or even in the same minute, I've suddenly backtracked. I might, <laughs> might put a tab on because I just suddenly remembered about my tabs. And thought, well, actually, Although I wouldn't necessarily put a lace tab, maybe, maybe I would put a paper tab. Hmm, if I had one that was quite right. No, I'm not going to put any of those on. Let me just have a look behind me because um, I had those ones like the Tim Holtz type paper tabs. Which again, I stumbled across in my Tidy Friday the other day, which I hadn't even remembered I had these. They were from such a long time ago. Oops. I just suddenly thought, well, perhaps that might look quite good. No, it doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. 
yep just uh, scrap that so I'm going to just go with that as she is so she looks really nice doesn't she so that's those two uh, this one yep I'm just leaving that without the stitching and then I've got these ones so again I might just ink, ink this up a little bit like that and then all around okay Again, I'm not going to add a tab, I think, but let's let's just check before I make that sweeping statement. Because who knows? Who knows what happens when when we try things? Okay, let me just check that that's kind of folded in the right place. So oops, oh my gosh. Oh, what am I doing? I've been fine and now suddenly fiddly. Suddenly finding everything fiddly. Well, that one is quite nice with that tab, funnily enough. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to just prove myself wrong, literally in the same minute I even said, why, oh, I wouldn't add a tab. I'm now adding a tab. Just going to cut that bottom bit off of there because it kind of had a fold. So I'm going to just ink this up now before gluing it down. Okay. And then pop that in there. Now I wonder if I've got any black words that would just slot neatly into there. I doubt, doubt that will. Oh, it does look. Does it though? Does it? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't that just irritating? Because I've just got that E just kind of like... Just getting in on the act. I just about can do that. I don't know whether you can see there, but I can just about do that. So let's just go like that. Just going to. Now, did I think that needed to come up or down? I can't remember. Right, so I just need to get rid of a titchy bit, titchy bit off the top. Okay. And now glue that down in place. Oh my gosh, this is so fiddly. I'm not good when things are so tiny as this, to be honest. Very, very, very tricky. Very fiddly. There we go. Right. So now I'm going to obviously now glue this down onto my journaling card. So. Right, round there, round there. Oh my gosh. Oh, this, could it be, uh, seriously, any fiddlier? It's just so fiddly, it's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Ah! Okay, right. Got there eventually. That was uh, definitely kind of a tricky thing for me to do. Okay. So that's that one. Love how that looks. Might have taken me, you know, ages to get there, but wow, really like how that looks. So I'm just going to ink a little bit on the back. Like that. Okay. Yay! Really, really cute. Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to just pop that to one side. I might actually just put that under my leg for a minute because that's obviously now got to kind of glue together right might keep that for the other dream that's on there okay right we've got this one now so again going to ink her up because she's nice and vintage looking so she kind of looks like she's you know needing needing inking again just ink around the back a little bit Okay, and actually I might as well just ink this one up at the same time because then that's done as well. Not going too mad over that doily piece because I do really like them in their bright colours. Okay, right, so I've got those two. Now, again, because, you know, I did just say, didn't I, that really I should be trying to use some of my ribbons. So let's pull in some ribbon. So I should put in the drawer that I sorted the ribbons in and just see whether I've got 
any ribbons that would just kind of go perfectly with these. Uh, I've got the uh, black with the gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, really, I'm not using up. I'm not really using up ribbon because, to be honest, I don't struggle to use the organza at all. I love, love using the organza. So, yeah, it's not really kind of helping me out at all, whittling my ribbons down. But hey ho, let's just go for that. So I'm just going to pop that behind me. So I think for this one, I'm going to just put again just a hole in the top, like that. Again, just have one of those hole reinforcers. I mean, I only put them on because I think they look nice. It's not really because I think the hole needs reinforcing. I just think they look pretty. Pretty and vintagey. I don't know why. I don't know whether they did the hole reinforcing constantly in, you know, days past. I don't know. But I always feel like they look extra vintagey when they've got the, the hole on there. Right, don't have much of this ribbon left. So to be honest, this is a good call to be using this. And again, I'm just going to go through and then tie a bow. So like that and then tie it round. Oh my gosh. Now, am I going to be better off doing it this way? Because I'm just thinking of the last ribbon where my legs didn't want to kind of poke downwards. Is it because I did that upside down? Quite possibly. Oh yeah, it obviously was. Look, because these ones are hanging, hanging the right way, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Right. I can just hear that my son's gone in, got him from school now. So. Uh, yeah, I'm nearly finished. So. Okay, so that's that little ribbon there, and I'm just going to cut the. Cut the legs down and I like to do them at that kind of V shape so just do that by just achieve achieve that by just you know holding these in kind of folding them over in the middle and then just cut cut to the middle line I mean I'm sure I could have made a better job of that but anyway so that one looks super pretty doesn't it now I don't know what to do for this guy so let me just get rid of that ribbon spool so that's another thing Another thing, gone from my stash. I mean, honestly, as if it's making a dent. It's really not, is it? Uh, now, what shall I have for his? For his tab. I mean, it is, you know, it is featuring this man. So I'm not sure lace is quite the thing. He maybe needs something a bit more manly. Um, oh, so sorry about that noise. My son is obviously downstairs doing stuff. Um... Oh, I don't know now what to have. Oh, do you know, I've just noticed. No, I don't want that. Although, I might like that on the back, actually. Yes, I do like that on the back. So let's put that on the back. And do you know what? To be honest, I mean, I could even leave this without a tab, you know, at all. I don't think the um, tags look too bad when they have no, t no tab. So it will be a tabless tag, tabless tag. You know, I think that looks perfectly fine without one. And because it's got a man on there, you know, I don't necessarily want to have a bow or, you know, anything kind of too girly or anything or lace or, yeah, anything too feminine. So actually I might just leave him with no tab at all. And I think he looks, you know, perfectly nice. So let's just see now, have a recap of what we've done. And there we go, whoops move that to one side and then the final one obviously with that little side tab there hanging is that one so yeah I hope that you like them um I had great fun making them and uh yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll all join me again soon thanks then bye <laughs>